So this question is for the men. Present. Let's say a woman sleeps with a hundred men. Gross. You call her a or a whatever you want to say. Maybe on the internet, in real life, we just stop responding. <laughs> exactly. But to be honest, most men are going to go, it's okay. And they're going to act like they're not disgusted by it so they can be body number 101 because they see you as an easy body. Most of the time when women get insults like that in real life, it's coming from other women. A woman sleeps with her man a hundred times. She's loyal. She's wifey. She's whatever you weirdos want to say. What is the difference? One of them is a <laughs> I don't know, like, are y'all just that stupid? Oh I, I want to hear it from like a dumbass standpoint. I'm not even gonna lie to you, this is the type of person that I wouldn't be able to have a conversation with. Because either they're so disingenuous and delusional that they're going to try to act like they don't understand the points that you're making, or they're actually so retarded that they're just not going to understand the points that you're making. What type of logic is that? If I use my toothbrush a hundred times, it's different than a hundred different people using my toothbrush and then I have to use it. It's just two different things. Oh, well, from a dumbass standpoint, being a skank makes you disgusting, but <laughs> you already know we feel that way. Exactly. That's why you made your video. Misunderstandings like this one are getting more and more common. If you want to understand why, you need to look at every issue from every angle. That's how I use Ground News, this video sponsor. If you want to follow along, click the link or scan here. When you complain about dating as much as I do, a lot of people will say things like, skill issue, like okay, it's make your, your money. fault and the make world money, hasn't man. changed around you. But this article about Bumble restructuring let because play, users are sick of it, has 129 sources on ground news and they're all in the center. So it's easy to see this issue actually affects everyone. Ground News shows you who's talking about every story and which way they lean politically so you can spot bias. You can scroll through headlines and see what they're saying at a glance, and in this case, everyone agrees. Investors yeah. have doubts, there's many signs of crisis in the sector, dating platforms and job search platforms are experiencing financial hardship. Yeah, that's not a surprise to me, and it's crazy because everybody does agree, and from both sides, all young men get hit with is, just work harder, bro. A fast ground news gives you a bird's eye view, which we need more than ever. See the full picture for 40% off. Scan here or click the link in the comments. I don't know, I want to hear it from like a dumbass standpoint. So let me give you less of a dumbass answer. When someone doesn't like something, that's the end of the conversation. I, I don't know who told you that you're in charge of my feelings, but right. that's not, it doesn't, it physically doesn't work that way. Reality doesn't have room for that. Right, and who wants to force somebody to want them? Go where you're wanted. Who wants to be where they're not wanted? If she don't like me, then she just don't like me. Trying to convince a woman to like you is like running on a treadmill. You're doing a lot of work to get nowhere. These are drawings of boundaries. I draw this over and over. This was the first one I ever made. The yellow is a public space that they both are in. That's a bar. And so it's okay for the guy to start talking to the girl. But then when she says, no, don't do that anymore, she's exerting a new boundary. And if he continues to do it, that's a boundary violation. So what you are doing when you tell me what should be in my feelings is, hang on, I have to make a new one. There you go. You're thought policing. You're taking your perceptions and feelings on the inside and telling me that they should also be mine and yeah. you don't get to do that. Yeah. So you can tell people not to do bad things to you. Like for example, don't play music when I'm trying to sleep, but you cannot take your feelings and say, stop liking music. You yeah. are not the police of how I feel. So I'm not saying that boys are in charge and, and we make the way things are. What I'm saying is, God is in charge. We all like what we like and don't right. like what we don't like, right. and we have to deal with the way things are. So you can't just tell men you have to like promiscuous women. It just doesn't work that way. And it's crazy because a lot of women understand that when it comes to height or when it comes to very mundane things like the things that they call aches. Like if I take a woman on a date and I pay for the date and I 
somehow slip and fall while we're roller skating and I fall awkwardly, she's going to say that that's an ick and she just has this natural inclination to not be attracted to me anymore. For some reason, they can understand that as an ick, but they can't understand how a man might be disgusted by a woman who slept with a hundred different women. That's somehow unfathomable for the female brain. And really, they understand that. They just try to act like they don't so they could try to convince men to accept their past. Promiscuous women. It just doesn't work that way. Let me show you why. Imagine that you go outside and you go for a walk and you see that somebody did not clean up after their dog. So they felt like not cleaning up on the inside and then they put that into the space that you share. How do you feel about that? Do you like it? Probably not. Can you change it? Can you just go, oh great, I'm going to rub this in my eyes? Of course not. That's just <laughs> how you feel. Now, what if I made a TikTok nagging you about it? This question is for the people who don't like dog sh Okay, let's say I walk my dog and I pick it up and throw it away. You say that's a good thing. Now, let's say I bring my dog to your house and he sh on your pillow. Suddenly, that's a bad thing. What is the difference? So, you see, I'm thought policing you. There's something I want you to like, and I'm telling you, you should like what I tell you to like. Yeah. Did it work? Man, I sure hope not. In fact, it probably made you, like me, even less. Yeah. Because if I want to put something bad in your life and you don't want it, then you will not like me. This is an exercise I created called the Association Triangle. It shows how people create feelings in general. And what you just said to us is that if you uh, want to sleep with a hundred guys and then another guy likes you after that, then you want him to be okay with this. But the difference is that women actually do convince men to be okay with this sometimes. And that's why I tell men to not even deal with promiscuous women because they're going to be really good at sex. You're going to be sleeping with this woman out of lust. It's going to blind you. You're going to start listening to all her whole story. She's going to say, it wasn't me. It was my past. It was my parents. It was my traumatic childhood experience. That's why I was doing all these things. You're going to end up believing her eventually. You're going to invite her into your life and then you're going to be the next victim. And you're going to realize why everybody in her life has moved away from her so what's interesting about this concept is that women do actually convince men to be okay with it a lot of times I've seen it happen to plenty of guys but we're not okay with it men really hate this in fact most of us are gonna hate this more than we like you yeah. so instead of feeling good about your choices we're going to feel bad about you because you just said hey here's something that you hate let me rub it in your eyes. I know you wanted the dumbass answer. Sorry about the smart answer. I hope you didn't hate it too much because it's just going to get less dumb. Even though the answer I just gave you was good enough that what other people like is none of your business, I'm also going to tell you why we don't like it. Okay, break it down, Matt. Did you speak Chinese today by any chance? Probably not. You spoke English yesterday, so you'll speak English today and probably tomorrow. Have you ever eaten the same food more than once? Probably. It would be too hard to just change that up every day. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of things that you do over and over. And if one of the things you do over and over is change the guy you're sleeping with, you're probably going to keep doing that too. Yeah, exactly. If I know that you have been with one guy for a long time, then in the future, you probably will be with one guy for a long time. Yeah, relationships are huge investments for men. That's something that a lot of women don't understand because they don't have to pay money during the courting phase. But relationships are a huge investment for men, so men have to be selective about who they invest in. And your history is the best predictor of what you're going to do in the future. And I personally went buy a car that's had five different users. I start to wonder what's wrong with the car show me the car facts i want to know what's going on in your history sometimes women will make it seem like you got to be in a relationship to get the best version of them or you got to be married to them to get the best version of them no you are who you are and when you're alone you show your true colors and if you was doing this type of stuff when you was alone there's no proof that you're not going to do this when you're with me but if i know that you switch guys often this is about once every 3.2 days then in the future you will probably switch guys often and again, we don't like that and we're not arguing about it. We yeah. do not want to spend time and money on you if you are just gonna 
switch guys right it's weird that i have to tell you this people don't like cheating and if you switch guys a lot you're more likely to cheat women love to say trust me ignore yeah. my behavior <laughs> yeah. i am wife material yeah. trust but me, bro. why would we trust you if you are the least trustworthy kind of person <laughs> cheaters don't say i'm gonna cheat on you they say trust me everyone says trust me so how do we know who the cheaters are? Well, we have to observe your behavior. This is the behavior cube. This is the church club axis. That's where you choose to spend your time. Mm -hmm. This is the modest independent axis. That's how you present yourself to the world. And this is the loyalty axis. That's how you've behaved towards men in the past. Number of guys is a big sign. The more you have, the dumber it is to trust you. Not everyone with a high body count will cheat, but more of them will. You can see here that marriage gets less stable as body count goes Close up. up. Yep. And yeah, sometimes people change, but not usually. This story down here is one time I got to my Motel 6 at 11.30 p.m. and some fairly cute girl saw me in the lobby and chased me to my car because I was once attractive. And she gave me a palm reading, and I said, hmm, this is most likely a bad idea, yeah. and I didn't do it. And yep, any of that spiritual goobble gobble, ho shit. Like how that girl at the beginning had that little nose ring, ho shit. Too many tattoos, ho shit. If she looked like she works at a vape shop, ho shit. If she vapes, that's ho stuff. Like all that type of stuff, bro, you got to stay away from those types of alternative women. Just go for a regular woman, bro. Oftentimes, dudes are attracted to that look because it looks like a woman who's readily available and a woman who's a little bit more promiscuous who seems to maybe have daddy issues. And you're probably right, but if she has a problem taking guidance or haven't had any guidance from the man who created her, then how do you expect for her to treat you or the guidance that you give her? New for me at the time. That is change, and most people don't. So if I'm going to offer you commitment, which is expensive, I need to know I can trust you, which I judge by looking at your choices because yeah. there's no other way. And if you've made a lot of bad ones, then I at least need to see that you've changed. And that takes more than 3.2 days. Yeah. So true. body count is not everything, especially if she's honest about it and she hasn't done it in a while. And also, you know, maybe you're not perfect either. But I will never give any of my time or money to someone who says my past doesn't matter. The problem is there are so many dudes that will because they're desperate or they just don't understand that this stuff matters or because they have a past themselves and because they may have changed, they assume that the other person has changed just as much as they may have. So part of the reason why women think that they're just going to be accepted by guys is because they see other women being accepted by guys. Will it happen for that person specifically? Probably not, but that's part of what feeds the delusion. We did before, we will do again. And the more you do it, the less you're likely to stop. So the past doesn't just disappear. And tomorrow, today will be the past. Right. So today doesn't matter. My behavior doesn't matter. Ignore my behavior. I'm going to be here, but treat me like I'm here. Right. No it's one crazy. wants to buy a ring for someone who says, don't judge my behavior. Because you don't have to say that unless you know it's bad. That's exactly. why any <laughs> variation of my choices don't matter is one of the biggest red flags there is. Also, nose rings and whatever this oh, is. Oh, yeah. Yep. Are y'all just that stupid? My choices don't matter is the same thing as I am the table. It means I get what I want and shut up about what you want. Take I'm here, I aren't am. I? Yeah. My choices don't matter comes in many forms. It might sound like my past doesn't matter. It could be what's the difference between one guy and a hundred. It could be what you need to do all these things for me and become the person that I want you to be. But you're supposed to take me as I am because you love me. I wear doesn't define me. That's what these girls said. Just because I dress this way doesn't mean I'm not wife material, even though dressing this way leads to attention and attention leads to temptation. And not only attention, specifically sexual attention. And it shows that you don't want to be loved. You want to be desired. And those are two totally different things. A modest woman who dresses well will still get attention. These women are looking specifically for lustful sexual attention. That's two totally different things. And your choices define you. In other words, just because I behave this way doesn't mean I behave this way. That's why she's got deception eyes. And you don't have to listen to that. 
If you are a younger guy with less experience, you've probably been told all your life to just be nice, yep. just be yourself, uh, blah, and blah, society blah. says, girls are nice and you have to be nice to them, otherwise you're being controlling and that's abusive and that can be confusing because it doesn't feel like you're being abusive, it feels like you're being abused because sometimes you are. Some women will just will lie to you to see if you're smart enough to catch them lying, and if you're not, then they don't like you. They will do things you should not be okay with and then tell you to be okay. Yeah, every man starts off because they're told how to treat a lady. Every man starts off having that fairy tale version of women as being perfect and being goddesses and being angels that we should do things for and be nice to and they will love us back. And then eventually, after some heartbreak, you realize that that's not the case. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're demons and you might think that right away after the heartbreak, but women aren't angels or demons. They're just humans that make mistakes and do things in their own interest just like everybody else the difference is women are told that men are bad from the beginning so at least when the tragedy happens to them because i'm sure something similar happens to women a lot of times at least when the tragedy happens to them they've been told you guys should look up what happened to hugh hefner why he became the person that he became i went into my marriage virgin in the sense that i had slept with only one person before in my life uh right after i was engaged uh my wife to be had an affair and told me about it just a short time before the wedding. This, trust me. So these girls said dressing like this doesn't mean they're not wife material, but the more skin they show and the more often they go out, the more attention they'll get, and the more they drink, the less they'll resist it, and so the chances of something bad happening get higher and higher. Yep. And then they say, just because I'm maximizing the chances of bad behavior doesn't mean I'm not wife material. Yep. <laughs> Even though wife material is someone who minimizes the chances of bad behavior. So you see what I mean over here. There's her visible behavior, which is easy to judge, and then there's this secret, cloudy, trust me, in the mystery zone. I can do all the bad things and still be good. Ignore yeah. my behavior. And this girl said, one guy, 100 guys, what does it matter? Well, what matters is, I don't want to be this guy. I don't want to be guy number 99 buying you flowers 3.2 days before guy number 100 shows up. <laughs> so look out for my choices don't matter. I didn't do what I did. It doesn't mean what it means. Trust my words, not my actions. That is only a test. And if you don't trust her, she'll say this. Are y'all just that stupid? But if you do trust her, she'll say this. Are y'all just that stupid <laughs> so don't trust someone in the bad cube just find someone in the good cube small announcement for those of you who watched right, the let's end. Hear it. we gotta I let it a play merch store i had an old merch store but nobody went there you can find it by looking under the video window or scrolling down i think i'm not okay. sure if it works the same for you store looks like this and you can buy posters t-shirts mugs and other stuff okay. tell me what designs you want in the comments Guys, this one is what is the difference? Red flag number eight. He's doing a red flag series. So if you guys want to go over to Homav's channel, I'll leave a link in the pinned comments in the description down below. This man makes good content. You guys see me react to it all the time. Let me know in the comments below if this video was a WRL and give me the HBO special that has a help brother out special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time.